Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am reviewing this wireless timer remote control for a professional grade Canon, which is my Canon 5D Mark III. One of the goals I have this year is to do a lot more self-portraits of myself. Um, and I do a lot on my phone. I use a remote trigger for my phone and it's really easy to set up. It's just Bluetooth and stuff like that. But I don't do a lot on my big camera because I always want really nice professional pictures, you know, for just my, just, my Instagram and just you know for my website and things like that but because I'm the professional photographer I don't get that many photos of myself um, because I'm always taking pictures of other people so I'm trying to see about doing some photos myself with maybe this wireless timer so I got this off of Amazon I don't remember how much it was I'll link it below and that way you guys know I don't think it was more than like $40 um, but it says TW2834CA, so hopefully that's Canon, because I was Googling wireless triggers for Canon. But it basically says um, that I can do remote triggers for the Canon camera. So, just opening it up here. Okay, so this part goes on top of your camera and this just plugs into the top and the side of the camera. And this is the wireless trigger part or the, the remote part that you hold. So I'm gonna go ahead and test it out and then let's see what the results are. Okay, so first you'll need to know it takes four AAA batteries. So if you don't have them already in stock in house, which we do, luckily, then you'll need to go to the store or make sure that you have those. Uh, so I'm just gonna install them here. I already just dropped off on the floor already. Okay, so just one goes in here. And then this one goes here. Okay. Okay, now they're both on, okay. So here is my camera. Okay. Put this one on top. Okay. Just one second. You hear noises in the background, that's just my kids. One of them, they're both doing electronic devices, don't judge. This part goes in here, Part this part of your camera has three little holes, it kind of just sticks right in, and this part goes here, to this device right here. To you. Okay, um, I'm gonna turn my camera on. Okay, and I don't have a lens on it or anything like that, but it was still, the, sh the shutter will still go even if you don't have a lens on it. But yeah, let's see if it works. I don't know. Oh, it works. Hmm. Okay, so let's see what kind of pictures we can do on it. I'm gonna go and mount it to a tripod and see how it works. Okay, so how I'm gonna grab focus is I'm just gonna take this tripod that you see right, up, right behind me. I'm just gonna, um, bring it all the way up to eye level and then I'm going to focus my camera on that area um, so that way it will be in focus and then I would just turn my camera into like a manual focus um, so that way it doesn't try to autofocus when I am trying to shoot. So what I just did I was just put a little marker right there so I knew where to stand and the photo is going to be set here. I mean it's very close up so I'm only going to get like half my body, but this is just a tester and I can just move it later. And I'll do a shot with my iPhone too, so that way you can kind of see um, the difference on how your iPhone captures it versus what your camera does um, in the photo. So one of the things I don't like about doing shoots is that you really have to clean up your space um, to get it ready for the shot. So I'm gonna do that. Thank you. 
Okay, so all clean, I went ahead and vacuumed everything and now I'm gonna go ahead and try a test shoot. And I'll also do one on my phone using my, um, my Zinfo shutter for my phone as well. Um, so that way you can kind of see the difference. Okay, so that's it. I'm pretty actually impressed with um, the trigger itself. It works really great. What I notice is that sometimes in between some shots, if you're like going a little too fast, um, then it might miss a trigger, but overall it works really, really, really well. What I really like about um, using a professional grade camera is that you can do a lot of shots in just a span of a few seconds. Rather when you're doing shots on your phone, it takes a, it's a little bit harder to do um, a lot of action shots or say like, for instance, like the other day we did a balloon drop one uh, and um, the balloons just dropped so fast. I feel like it would be really hard to um, capture all those things with a, your normal phone because you just wouldn't be able to capture the amount of balloons um, all in one shot. So just being able to do that split second shutter um, really, really helps in those situations. In those situations um, but yeah so that is my review if you are looking to buy one of these I'll link it below and make sure you subscribe to this channel to keep up with more videos I'm trying to do more videos this year I say that every single year I know as always I do videos on photography um, on also play spaces and also boudoir so those are the, the kind of the three main areas that my channel usually concentrates on but sometimes I do random videos about stuff, certain other things too so I will talk to you guys next time